Thinking of taking Ozempic for weight loss or managing your diabetes? Pause and watch this first. Before you decide, there's a lot you should know and a whole lot that your doctor might not be filling you in on. Many turn to Ozempic with the hope of shedding excess pounds quickly. We're drawn in by the stories of rapid weight loss. However, there are significant drawbacks because once we stop the medication, maintaining the weight becomes a battle, often leading to rebound weight gain, plus there are plenty of other side effects to consider that nobody talks about. Today, we're gonna to be diving deep and exposing this popular weight loss peptide. I'm gonna be sharing 10 potential downsides and five benefits to taking this popular weight loss medication. Make sure to stay tuned to the end where I'm gonna be uncovering the most important key to get lasting results when it comes to fat loss that is rarely discussed out there. You might have caught my first video I did last week on how a Zempic works in the body. If not, it is a must watch for the full picture and I'm gonna link it above for you. A fast little rundown on Ozempic, it works in a unique way. It mimics a hormone in your body naturally produced to regulate hunger. Even when you're not eating, Ozempic tricks your body to thinking you're feeling full. This means you end up eating less, not because you're consciously controlling your calories, but because you feel less hungry. As a result, insulin levels adjust accordingly, aiding in weight loss. The key takeaway here, is that Ozempic controls your hunger, not the calories directly. It's about managing your appetite to achieve weight loss, ensuring that you're having controlled hunger. But remember, go check out that first video because I dive deep into that and I simplify it super for you. Let's start with the downsides. First off, let's start with nutrition and lifestyle overlooks. Most individuals fill the prescription and take the medication, but they don't actually read all of the diet and lifestyle changes that go along with it because we just want fast fat loss. Anyone can lose the weight, but keeping it off has a 80 to 90% failure rate. Let's dive into the diet and lifestyle changes that are often overlooked when taking Ozempic and the downsides in terms of fat loss. The first big downside has to do with nutrient deficiencies. People continue their regular diet expecting the medication to do all of the work. And the standard American diet typically has a dietary pattern high in processed foods, saturated fats, sugar, and refined carbohydrates. But it is low in essential nutrients and protein. This diet exacerbates the challenge faced by those turning to the medication for weight loss without addressing the functional aspects of nutrition. One other thing I want to mention about Ozempic is when hunger cues are suppressed, there's a risk of not only consuming insignificant nutrients, but also missing out on the key benefits of a balanced healing diet. And this can lead again to nutrient deficiencies as the diet remains very high, our standard American diet, in carbohydrates, in fats, but is low in our essential proteins and micronutrients. The second downside is there is an insufficient protein intake. The role of protein becomes crucial here. Protein is pivotal for maintaining muscle mass, especially when on a calorie deficit. Incorporating adequate protein into your diet while using Ozempic is essential for preventing muscle loss, particularly as the medication reduces your hunger, which may lead to lower overall caloric intake, and protein is crucial for muscle repair and growth. Without enough, your body may start breaking down its own muscle for energy, and this is not what we want, especially when it comes to building muscle, losing fat, and getting that strong body composition appearance. Ensuring that we're getting a steady intake of high quality protein sources like lean meats, fish, and legumes helps preserve our lean muscle mass even in a caloric deficit. This not only aids in maintaining a healthy metabolism, but also supports your insulin sensitivity by keeping your tissues healthy and responsive. A balanced diet with significant protein is really key to ensuring that the weight you do lose on Ozempic comes from fat, not just your muscle, making your weight loss journey healthy 
healthier and more sustainable. One more thing on protein, a lot of us tend to go towards bars and shakes because they can offer convenience, but they often don't provide the same value of satiety, which is making you feel full and satiated, or the nutritional benefits as whole food sources. The third downside is a slowed metabolism. Using Ozempic for fat loss can come with some effects on our metabolism, especially when discontinuing its use. Actually, Ozempic works by mimicking something called your GLP-1, reducing the hunger and your caloric intake, which can lead to rapid weight loss. This decrease in food consumption can also slow down your metabolism over time. Your body adapts to eating less calories, becoming more efficient, and thus burning fewer calories at rest. The real challenge emerges when stopping Ozempic. Without the medication's influence on your hunger signals, there's a risk of rebound hunger or overeating as your body's natural cues return. Combined with a slower metabolism from prolonged lower caloric intake, this can lead to rapid weight gain. And if muscle loss was lost due to the insufficient protein intake or decrease in our physical activity with the medication, this could further slow our metabolism since muscle tissue burns more calories than fat even at rest. Readjusting to managing weight without Ozempic requires careful attention to our diet, ensuring that we're getting adequate protein and nutrient intake, and gradually increasing our physical activity to rebuild muscle and boost our metabolic rate. One more thing on muscle loss, any low calorie diet, if not properly managed, can result in losing up to 25 to 30% of our lean muscle mass, particularly alarming for women over 40. Since as we go into perimenopause, we are losing muscle already at a rate of 40 to 50% faster. Let me share a story that might resonate with many of you. One of my clients, let's call her Jennifer. Thank you, she was caught in this battle of just doing all of these crazy fad diets out there. She was in her 50s, but she had a hysterectomy when she was in her 40s. She tried everything, low calorie diets. She was doing tons of cardio. She was even adding in extra burpees and everything throughout her sets. She felt run down, was pushing herself to train with no energy, and her workouts left her feeling exhausted, more inflamed, she didn't see her muscle definition, and she was training so hard, yet could not see the results. Top that with chronic cravings and just that uncomfortable bloat, she did not know what to do. She came and signed up for my 90 day transformation challenge. And in a matter of just 12 weeks, she is actually down eight pounds, eating more food, doing less cardio and training less, and her energy is back. Her anxiety is gone. Her thyroid levels have balanced out. We have to work smarter versus harder when it comes to fat loss. If you can relate to her story, I want you to head to the description below, fill out my questionnaire for my next 90 day transformation challenge launching on March 25th. This is the key. I don't just give my clients eat this many calories and push it in the cardio. I teach them everything that they need to know to get sustainable results when it comes to fat loss. I have a gut focused approach. We address our stress, our sleep, our gut, our hormones. I teach them what to eat, when to eat, the food to eat, how to do it with a busy lifestyle. We have a full community with constant support throughout with me because I run everything with my business and it is a total life transformation that you get sustainable results with. If you're ready for once and for all to get sustainable results when it comes to your goals, head to the description below, fill out the questionnaire. I will be in touch with you to set up a one-on-one -on -one call to see if we're that perfect fit for my upcoming challenge. Act fast because I only have five spots for this challenge. The next downside is going to be the ozempic face and other physical changes. Some users report changes in their facial appearance due to the rapid weight loss and they call it the ozempic face. It's like seeing a friend after a long time and they look drawn and just age, not because of natural aging, again, due to the rapid weight loss impact 
impacting their facial structure. The other downside is going to be the post ozempic weight regain. There's a real risk of gaining back the weight loss and then some once stopping ozempic, especially without sustainable dietary changes. Imagine losing weight for a summer wedding only to find yourself heavier by winter because the underlying eating habits have not changed. I have spoken with some individuals that not only gained the weight back, but they also gained 10 additional pounds back because of this. The next downside is going to be overdosing on a Zempic. And this is really a big concern, particularly during the initial stages of the treatment. Starting doses dispensed through the pens are often five to 10 times higher than necessary, with recommended doses starting anywhere from 0.25. The problem lies in the tendency to overdo it, neglecting all other aspects of wellness. Previously, Ozempic was administered in microgram doses daily, but current formulations deliver high milligram doses weekly, starting at levels, like I said, much stronger than required. This dosage discrepancy increases the risk of adverse side effects. Additionally, the body may adapt to these higher doses, leading to reduced efficiency and potency, worsening the side effects over time. It's essential to exercise caution and closely follow prescribed dosing instructions to really mitigate of the risk of overdose associated with these complications. Some other potential downsides of taking Ozempic include gastroparesis, pancreatitis, kidney functions, and the peptides typically take around two to three months to build up in our system. Now let's discuss the benefits of Ozempic because when you come to my page, I don't like to put something down. I like to share with you guys the pros, the cons, and let you guys make your own decision based off of what you feel best. And a little disclaimer, I am not a doctor. I am not here to prescribe, not here to tell you what to do. Always speak with your doctor before taking any medication. The first benefit is going to be appetite control. Like I mentioned, Ozempic works by mimicking a hormone called the GLP-1, which regulates your hunger and satiety cues in the body. When we activate the GLP-1 receptors in the brain, Ozempic helps reduce our appetite and cravings, making it easier to stick to a lower calorie controlled diet. And this appetite control is crucial for weight loss success as it helps individuals consume fewer calories without feeling deprived or hangry. The next benefit is improved glycemic control. So in addition to the weight loss benefits, Ozempic is also effective at improving the glycemic control in individuals with type 2 diabetes. By activating our GLP-1 receptors in the pancreas, Ozempic actually stimulates our insulin secretion in response to elevated blood glucose levels, helping you lower your blood sugar levels after your meals. Individuals with type 2 diabetes, Ozempic offers a dual benefit of weight loss and better blood sugar management. Another benefit of Ozempic is the cardiovascular benefits. Recent studies have demonstrated that Ozempic provides cardiovascular benefits beyond its effects on weight loss and glycemic control. Ozempic has been shown to reduce the risk of major adverse cardiovascular events, including heart attack, stroke, and cardiovascular death in individuals with type 2 diabetes and established cardiovascular disease. These benefits are thought to result from Ozempic's effects on multiple cardiovascular factors, including blood pressure, lipid profiles, and inflammation. For individuals with type 2 diabetes who are at an increase of cardiovascular complications, Ozempic offers a therapeutic option for reducing our heart disease and improving overall cardiovascular health. These are just a few benefits that I want to mention. For many individuals, Ozempic really represents not just a short-term solution for weight loss or diabetes management, but a pathway to long-term health and well-being. But the problem is, is a lot of us turn to it for fast fat loss, and we don't really put in the lifestyle changes, look at our diet, our nutrition, and do it in a way to get sustainable results when it comes to our fat loss. 
So this video, I just wanted to share with you guys the upsides, the downsides, and let you guys make your own decision. If you are looking for more of a holistic approach to get sustained results once and for all, head to the description below. Let's set up a call for my 90 day transformation challenge where I help you build muscle, lose fat, transform your body, eating more food, post period, menopause, hysterectomy, you name it. That is my expertise. And for those that want more information on Ozempic, I'm going to link a video right here for you to check out. It is going to be a deep dive into how Ozempic works in your body. I keep it short and simple, but it is a must watch before taking any weight loss medication.